I mean, as far as the way I feel about it now, I mean, it took some type, it took a, took some time for me to realize and understand what the prosecutor said when, during my trial, when she, she, she was trying not for them to release me. She didn't want them to give me a bail. And the stuff she was saying, like really kind of like brought my mom to tears. Cause my mom, my mom was at the trial and she hearing words, she hearing the prosecutor just slander me. Like, no, your honor, you can't let him out. He's a, he's a menace to society. He's, you just don't understand the, the amount of drugs you know, he's, he, he's, he control 85% of the drugs that come in on the shore. And, and, and did I understand it? Did, did we understand the impact on what that, you know, what that does to a community? Like this prosecutor was not trying to have him let me go. And, and I'm steady over there, like, you know, not really fully understanding, you know, what she's saying, but I just know that she, you know, trying to put me away for the rest of my life. You know, and only for years later, a few years later, it, it kind of really hit me, like, the impact. The impact that all those drugs had on the community, the impact that it had on Cambridge itself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you're, you're not doing shit. She was 100% she was right. I, it really didn't help the fact that me, you know, transporting drugs all the way to Maryland and, you know, my own sister strung out on drugs here. So you get to feel it from both sides. The same thing I did to a community down here, down there, somebody was already doing here. And I, and I understand the devastation, the impact that it had in here, in Mars. So yeah, you know, I got a lot to do. I got a lot to, to fix up. That's why I'm so dedicated, you know? But at the same time as that prosecutor said that, you know, what I was responsible for, you know, she never spoke about, you know, where it come from. So me taking all the blame, for what's going on in all these communities across the nation. You know, I know damn well I didn't fly out this country and go get it. You know, the fact that it matter that they try to say that they would have me under investigation for 10 years. Well, why they let me do that much damage? You know what I'm saying? Well, why, why would they let me hustle 10 years under investigation and, and just to you know, lock me up for the rest of my life. And, and you know, look at the damage that I've I accu accumulated in 10 years. You know, once you got a whiff of it, why didn't you just shut it down? You know, that's the stuff she didn't mention. That's the stuff that the government not gonna mention. They're not gonna mention how much of a part they played in it. That's a dope African.